What's up guys? Fran and Rebecca here from Abandoned Central. Today we're at a really fucking bug in my face. You gotta be Hey what's up guys? Fran and Rebecca here from Abandoned Central and today we're at the famous trolley graveyard. I would have to place the trolley graveyard into my top five places to explore. I think because of how unique it is and the history behind it. A man by the name of Ed had a huge fascination for trolley transportation while growing up in Chicago. His love for urban transportation only grew stronger as he got older. After retiring from his career as a civil engineer, he began collecting many trolley cars and buses from various parts of the country. Most were built in the 30s and 40s era and had routes through Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, Dallas, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Johnstown, and even Boston. Over time, Ed collected around 50 trolley cars in hopes to restore and resell again, but it became too much so they lay deep in the woods for several years. And although vandals and scrappers have taken their tolls on the site, the trolley graveyard is still a beautiful place to see. So what do you think of this place? Um, epic is an understatement for sure. This is my third time coming. How many times have we came? Twice? I've only been twice. I think you've been three times. Yeah, so this is my fourth time coming here. And I think it, it took me a couple times to actually shoot this place right. Uh, today I shot it with like three different lenses um, where last two times I came I just shot with my wide angle. This place is just amazing. There's probably about 60, 70 maybe of these trolley cars. They're all tagged up, which is, you know, pretty cool. The leaves right now on the ground makes your shots really dope. Uh, they have still some color left. It's The weather's perfect right now. It's like 70 degrees, 65 degrees. It was pretty cold when we got here this morning. Uh, we got here around six in the morning drove a couple hours through the night and we met with our friend Jason Cassidy and um, Greg Generic Pieces. Hey guys, my name's Greg. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Generic Pieces. Uh, today we're out here at this uh, abandoned trolley yard and uh, got some really rad shots. Kind of recently it's been blown up a lot. Uh, a lot of people going out here whether it just to be take a look, take photos, or uh, you know, put some graph pieces on there, uh, destroy stuff. But there's been a lot of people out here recently. I actually just got out here for my first time today, and uh, actually like it a lot in the current state that it's in, which is weird. I'm usually a purist about about things. I don't like to to find places super trashed or tagged up or anything like that. But uh, I think that color adds to it. Uh, I had a chance to go here a few years back and I passed on going out here. I just thought that everything blended in. It didn't look that great to me. But today, uh, really happy with being out here. It looks awesome. When you first walk up, it's a little deceiving. It, it looks cool. There's, you know, some some busted down vehicles and, and train cars that are kind of scattered all over the place. and. They look great, but you know, it doesn't really let you know how deep it is. So you keep walking and surprisingly you keep walking and walking and walking and it's probably, I would say, in my unprofessional opinion, there's either a quarter mile, half mile of train cars that just keep going on. And it's really awesome. They kind of go around a bend and around that bend you have a nice, uh, nice train full of uh, different cars and all of them are from all over the place. There's some that are from Philly, it looks like. We've got some SEPTA trains out here. There's also a couple trains that look like they're from Boston. Um, and a couple others that are unidentifiable. Uh, it's a cool place. I would definitely recommend going if you know where it's at. A lot of the trains are in really bad condition though. And not just from being vandalized or anything like that. It's all just overgrown and rusted out. Um, there's some moss growing on a lot of them. 
and the floorboards are just wet because they're all wood. Um, so it, it's it's in a pretty good state right now that's colorful and it looks great photographed, but like I said earlier, I'm usually a purist and I hate to see anybody's property get damaged because the fun fact about this one is it's not actually abandoned. It is under ownership from a guy. This is a guy's private collection of train cars that he's had brought in from different places. Like I said, I saw a couple from Boston, a couple from Philly, and those cars are on his property. So it's not really abandoned. He knows they're there, um, but it's a cool look, and I was really glad to get out here today. Long overdue, and hopefully I can make a trip back here before it gets completely blown up and, and there's no access at all. So um, awesome day shooting, and be safe if you guys do try and go out there. So we have to dip out a little early on this video, but don't worry, we'll be back. Apparently there's a tour group here that I had was scheduled for a tour today, and we are on the tour list, so we have to go. So we're back after being on the road for a couple of days. Uh, we wanted to try to get some more footage for our video. Uh, the last time that we were here, we ran into a tour guide and we offered her $200 for all four of us, which is like $50 each, but she was charging $150 per person uh, for her three hour tour. So I came here about a year ago by myself and when I was walking up to the trains, the owner Ed was actually outside. So I talked to him for a few minutes and I tried to give him a donation to just take some photos of the trains. And he gave me access to the property. He didn't take my money. He just asked me to be respectful, uh, not do any graffiti and break out any windows. And he also asked to just uh, knock on the door if I were to return in the future, uh, which we did today and a couple days ago when we came, but no one answered the door when we knocked. This is harder than I thought. This place is amazing. There's so many cool shots here. I mean, you just have to sit here and I could be here for hours just finding new stuff to shoot. I was in one of the trolley cars and I was taking a photo of the seats and stuff like that. And as I was waiting for my, um, my uh, photos to be finished, I look up and I see something that you know would be really cool with you know, my 50 millimeter, so, you know, you just sit there and you just find things one by one and just, <sighs> you need a lot of time to be here. bus routes or trolley routes ran all the way from Bridgeport all the way down to 69th Street Terminal.
couple things that I like about this place a lot is that you can shoot on your tripod, but you can also shoot a lot of handheld shots, which I don't shoot much um, when I'm shooting in abandoned buildings. They're usually pretty dark, and I like to bracket my shots, but here I've been shooting a ton of shots with my 24 Sigma uh, handheld and just getting a lot of different depth of field shots. Um, the trolleys are so long and they have like a nice curve to them. There's a bunch of different uh, symmetrical shots you can get and with the railroad tracks covered in leaves. It's just pretty epic right now, um, especially with the weather. Uh, sometimes if you would have come here two months ago, there's going to be no leaves on the ground. The weeds are like this high. There's bugs everywhere. It's just the time of the year to explore this place right now is perfect. So that wraps it up for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're following us on Instagram. Uh, and you're also going over to our website, www.abandoncentral.com. We've got spotlights on various artists, um, blogs of all of our explorers, and we even have prints. Uh, they're all $30, um, just from a bunch of artists that you probably follow already. So go check it out.